Hi, Stitchers. Welcome back. Are you ready for the whip parade? I don't know if I'm ready for the whip parade. The craziness begins. <laughs> so we've talked a little bit about uh, the Stitch 10 and 20, mm -hmm. and I thought I would start with those. All right. These are things, and I have reasons, like um, the first one is the Linen and Threads 2017 Stitch Along, mm -hmm. the mystery sampler. And I want it finished before I start this year's because I just don't think I need two great huge things. And I'm not going to spend real long in this one. I just showed it to you. Mm -hmm. um, I finished that one band. I haven't gone back and done anything else. But I kind of know what I'm doing because we talked through it. Right. So there's that one. Keisha's playing the put yes. away queen I'm for me today. I'm going to be today. doing lots of bag stuff over here. So just pay <laughs> attention to Laura, please. Then the next one is my year at Hawk Run Hollow. Uh, I'm going to turn it around and show you the the bigger pictures. And I really like it. And I would have been done, except that I looked in there. If you do this one, you guys, acquaintance is spelled incorrectly on here. And um, there is a correction block on the website on Carriage House Samplings. You need to get it before you start stitching because what they do is they move this girl down and then um, where the lettering is, it will fit over further. Mm -hmm. So I've decided that I am going to try and I'm going to pick out A and C E and um, move it up one stitch and over far enough to get it in there to get the C in. Right. So that I have it. But you're nearly finished with this. I am. I, I only have the lettering left to do. Mm -hmm. I got a lot done the other night. So I'm really happy with it. Right. It looks and great. I, then I need to get my box outlined so that I can start February. Right. So there's that one. All right. Then my next one is a very fine sampler. I hope I don't go too fast for you guys. But I have a lot of stuff. And I am only doing, I am only doing the picture. I was going to do something on top. I thought maybe I would move the, mm -hmm. the verse up or something. But you know what? I really like the picture. Mm -hmm. And I am nearly done. Wow. So this one is kind of a gimme in my stitch 10 and 20. I have to finish um, this flower and this flower. That's it. I mean, like. Two flowers. Maybe wow. part of this one. Yeah. One more little section. So, seriously, this shouldn't take real, real long. Yeah. It's a huge... I say that every time, though, and it is a huge right. piece. So, right. it's a little deceptive. Well, and it looks like you need to really count since there are some spots that aren't stitched to make it look a little bit more rustic. Open that up and look at the pattern, too. Just for you. Oh, just for me. Oh, it's yeah. It's tiny. Um, and so I think that was holding me up. Mm -hmm. So I finally got smart and took a picture. Like I was telling you guys, I take a picture of a spot mm -hmm. and I blew that up and I, um, um, I can't think. And then I worked from that right. and I was done. Oh, wow. And I thought I've been struggling with this the whole time, but see, working with Keisha, that has taught me something. Oh, that's what you were going to do in the last video. Oh, that's okay. I can show later. Basically, I taught Laura how to do a loop start with one strand of floss, but there are some great tutorials out there on YouTube that would probably do better than I did. I like to watch a lot of um, the tutorials for from Peacock and Fig. And uh, they do all kinds of just like fabulous, like that's how I learned how to do a loop start in the first place was from one of their videos. So. Do they do floss too? Um, I don't think that they do like, it's more tutorials. Okay. So, so go check that out because you can do a loop start with one thread. It and it worked mind. really well. Right. I, I sat with Keech on Thursday and watched her do it. And so then I did it myself when I got to mm -hmm. Bloss where I could do, to a spot where I could do it. My next one is Blackberry House from Plum Street. Wow, I, I don't know that I've done anything else on this since I showed you the last time. Mm -hmm. Hello, this end. But I really like it. And it's on my big, beautiful uh, Picture This Plus fabric. Which, you guys, they're having an orphan sale. Those are fabrics that either didn't die right or they were testers or whatever. And she had over 200 pieces of fabric. And she's down to, I don't even know how many to tell you she's down to. Um, I know that 
well, I was making mine all fit on one page anyway, so I can't really tell you, you know, oh, they all fit on one page because, yeah, because I made them. Right. I but, didn't look because yeah. I didn't want to be tempted. So, and there's some gorgeousness there. Mm -hmm. If you are good with 40 count crystals, there is a piece of purple, really beautiful purple, 40 count crystal. And if you're somebody who yeah. stitches on uh, Q snaps or in a frame, it would be perfect. Yeah, I've worked with some 36 count crystal from Picture This Plus, and as long as you put it in a hoop, well, I usually use a, a hoop, but it opens those holes big enough for And you have got to, to stretch it out like that. Mm -hmm. um, in hand, I have a real hard time with it. So, and Marilyn will tell you that, that crystals are hard. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. My next one is the Black Pearl from the Primitive Hair. Love this now, one. this one is fun because um, I I kept watching Michelle change things for Magical Stitches. We pull the bottom of this one because it is wrinkly. I kept watching her change things, and um, I'm like, I can do that. So I have been playing with this. So she has stitched like crazy all over the place and not like how I would normally stitch. Right. Well, I remember that you added that red metallic because there was a yeah, prompt for we had to do. red metallic. And her hair, I've changed to a different floss and now I'm having to kind of play with it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think I have her tail as far as I need to get it. Although I think there are a couple extra little spots Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I have them in. Yeah, it looks like you do. So I need hair and her face and arms. Really, she's not all that far either. Yeah. This is Tempest Cashel 28 from Picture This Plus. What a perfect name of a fabric for a mermaid. I'm wondering if this is the other half of my um, hippo. It looks like it. I think it may be. Okay, so my next one is one of Keisha's favorites. It's Cancer from Satsuma Street. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you the back so that you can find your sign because these are the prettiest, prettiest pieces. I I'm the love lion. them. <laughs> Where are you? I can't see you. I'm. Oh, well, right I'm on the end. Side, yes. Yeah. Next to you. I couldn't find them though in there. <laughs> like, where am I? Yeah. Um, but they are the prettiest, prettiest pieces. They call for black, um, black fabric. And mine is actually, um, mine is actually a navy blue. Ooh, maybe I'm going to put this behind it. Even though it's white, it'll help. And, um, I worked on it during magical stitches. Oh, and I have a, I have a love you more needle minder on it. But I worked on mine during Magical Stitches. It fit in with prompts. Anytime we needed water something. When I finally realized, hey, I'm a water sign. Then I started working on this and got the whole center. Uh -huh. And yes, there's a lot of stitching left to go. But man, is it fun. And I mean, you can see the holes on this. Look how sheer this is. Mm -hmm. Pick a good light linen like this instead of a dense one. If you um, have a little bit of a problem working on these and also um, make sure like that you have something light colored on your lap mm -hmm. because you can see through and okay you can tell the difference look in here where the pattern is how much harder it is to see than out here where it's white right so there's another tip for you yeah, good tip then <clears throat> how many is that I don't even know if I'm counting <laughs> <laughs> then I have dance of the tulips from Glendon place I love this. I think it comes out very, very pale on theirs. They actually used Picture This Plus Linen in a real pale green. Um, I can't think which one that is. That is that Serene? No, I think it's older than that. Oh, okay. It's probably, it would look beautiful on that because mm -hmm. Serene may be slightly darker than oh, okay. this one. Um, but I had this piece of really really okay this is what i mean by dense fabric you can't see through this right but look at this on wow. here i love this guy so pretty and i'm a a good fair bit of the way through this i still have quite a bit to go i'm beading as i go there are all sorts of beads on that oh, yeah. um urn down there and there's not a whole lot of beads left in the rest of it but I love this one. Mm -hmm. And it, it just deserves to be finished this year. 
and I don't know what I'll do with it when I get done, whether I'll frame it or make it a big pillow or what, but dang, I like it. And then here is my Sunday stitching. It's the Games and Toys stockings from Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine. This was um, July, August, 1993. And I have a copy because um, I sent this in a round robin and I didn't want to send the whole magazine. It was, I just didn't want it to get all beaten, beaten up. So, but it makes it great because I still just keep that. Yeah. I haven't ever pulled the magazine back out. I just huh. stitch from the copies they made, which, oh my gosh, I can't read the symbols on those pages. Mm. They're so tiny. So again, I'm blowing them up on my yes. iPad. But even when I blow them up, it's, um, they kind of distort real fast oh, because it's right. a color pattern. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is where it is, you guys. Look at the progress I made. I filled in the rest of the pink on this um, on this part of the cabinet. It's mm -hmm. down by the the last drawer, the top drawer. Um, I put in the suspenders right there. And then there's um, socks and things hanging out of the drawer. That's what these holes are. You can see the side of my drawer right here. Mm -hmm. So I need to fill that in. And then I am going to stop and backstitch what I can. In there because everything is already backstitched that's done mm -hmm. and um, that way I won't have to do it at the end and then you guys oh my gosh weeks and weeks it's gonna take but look at this a shell it's one of the shelves with a pig mm -hmm. and <laughs> the other shelf in the middle there and that's it so two shelves in here okay. and then his and name, his his name and some of the wallpaper Mm -hmm. They've done most of it. There are just going to be little bits to go through. So wow, You're getting so close. Yeah. And it's, again, it's solid in there, so it's quite a bit of work. But right. that's one of my ten. Then, one that is not very far along, so I'll have all year to work on this. But this is Katie's pattern. And really, she, she went through her stash last night, mm -hmm. and she said something about it, and I thought... Well, I guess that's going on my 10. <laughs> so it's called Our House from the Good House, Good Housewife. Um, I believe this is an out of print pattern. I have not looked. Maybe you can still get this. It is fabulous. Look at all that fall goodness. Oh, yeah. And we all need a little fall in our lives, right? Right. I haven't decided if I'm putting Jacob Adams in the year. Um, I guess this was his house. So. Mm. But this is what I have done, and the um, all of the stonework down there, it was fun. Yeah, I remember you just cruised right through that. It was pretty easy um, getting those in, and then I just filled in. And, um, you know, really, if I made a mistake, who's going to know? Right. Well, I just remember there was one night where we were at Panera, and she was working on this, and there was barely any done, and then I look over, and it's like almost all the way done. <laughs> it was fast. It yeah. was so fast because you put in you know, like 20 or 30 stitches in one color and you move on. And, you know, most of them had multiples fairly close. So I could mm -hmm. do like little groups. Right. And it was fast. I like things like that. This is the fence where I'm doing it in rows. Mm -hmm. This is the fence. I'm doing it in rows. So I stitch all the way across and all the way back because this is DMC. Oh, perfect. And it... um yeah, on the back. That's what it's looking like when I'm doing my hello that way. When I'm doing my rows of mm -hmm. things. So it's uh, it's fun and I love it and I want to be back to it. So for me, you know, that's like a win-win yeah, to get I, to do that. I know you were loving that one back in November when you were working on it. Yeah, and um, I did not put my other November project in here, Autumn mm -hmm. Alphabet. Um I didn't even put it in my whip parade. I have such a small bit started right. on it. And guys, I came up with like 52, somewhere somewhere in the 55 range of whips. Mm -hmm. Last year I had 52. I finished several, but I added more to it. Oh, right. So right. like that was a new start last year. And then my last one, which is a big one. And again... I took a copy, a photocopy. First of all, it was a digital file. Mm. So I had to print everything out. 
but um, this is where I gave kind of instructions for my people when I sent it out in a round robin. Now you're going to die. Keisha's going to have to help me hold this one up. Oh, it's so good. I don't nice. even know if we can get it all on on camera. There's your oh, side, there's please. Okay. There we go. Look at this thing. Yeah. Do we need to pull towards you? I think, you, yeah, a little bit. There we go. I can kind of see through the back. Up a little okay. Bit. There's the, let's pull up and show the bottom. Okay. So there's the bottom, which is all, I mean, all of that stuff. This quarter, I believe, is done because it has all the little letters and all these little diamond things. And that is what has to be done in the rest of this. Um, I recently finished for Magical Stitches. I finished this because we could just do sections. We had a time where we were just supposed to put in like, I don't know thousands of stitches and so I would do and you had to take pictures like every hundred mm -hmm. stitches so I would do a hundred stitches take a picture and I went all the way around on these things and got them done I think there is um maybe a motif in here and I know maybe one over here and then the rest is just this kind of small fill-in stuff little critters mm -hmm. and the alphabet and I have one more border to go all the way around the outside that is brown, solid brown, uh, like these letters. But that's it. And this fabric is from um, Weeks Dye Works. Oh, okay. I can't think what color it is, but off the top of my head, but their linen, can you see through that how sheer that mm -hmm. is? I mean, look at my hand back yeah. here. Um, it's lovely to work with. And you know, it's fairly lightweight. I've been trying to decide what I'll do with this. I can't see myself framing something this big. But, you know, maybe I will. Maybe I'll play with it and do that. What I've envisioned is that um, I would like to have a smallish table that I can just um, maybe finish the edges, maybe make it, get somebody to help me finish it and make it kind of like a table topper. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty. Um, I could cut off my zigzag and maybe do some um, hem stitching around mm -hmm. the edge, and that would be really pretty, and just finish it off that way. And this is all, because is this usually a monochromatic piece? So this yes. is just one that you picked, you, yes. you and the round robin people picked and played with? Um, well, Katie, <laughs> we were out, we had a needlepoint shop close by, and Katie and I were out there, and we had picked one colorway, and it was going to be like all... Um, purples and blues really really mm -hmm. pretty and then Katie found the variegated floss this variegated floss mm -hmm. and that was it and we took off and we found things and there's no purple in it wow. but I had to have purple in my piece so oh. there's a thistle I had to have purple. right right so and we found one that would work hmm. so that is my 10 and 20 so the goal with that is to finish all 10 of those this year all right then this is the rest of my stack that doesn't look so bad, right? <laughs> look at Keisha's face. She's like, I need a nap. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with, I, I'm going to start off with a drink. Oh, well, let's, the, let's caffeinate up. Actually, Lars is decaf, so she's not caffeinating up, but I am. Caffeinated.